can we catch a break? I mean, the world is in a crazy place right now. Everything is going out of business. We still have to deal with climate change. And now I got to worry about a demon who wants to try and be my friend. Well, that's just great. I think I need a warm bath and a massage because I need a break. Thank you very much. Hello, Most Amazing Top 10 family. I'm your host, Jade Arena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 scary demons who want to be your friends. So check your notifications and be very afraid. As always, guys, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell and stick around for the whole list because I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs, which you guys love so much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. Without taking any longer, let's get into this list. Coming in at number 10, we have the Facebook Ghost. The first demon we have on this list was birthed out of a creepy Reddit thread that has created one of the best urban legends on the internet. If you haven't heard of this, it's a great story. There's a guy whose girlfriend recently passed away and something very strange starts happening. He starts getting messages from his girlfriend through Facebook Messenger. And at first he thinks this is a prank that someone could have hacked into her account and is harassing him. Then the messages start to get really creepy. They start to talk about how his deceased girlfriend is very cold. And then he starts to get pictures sent to him that were taken just outside his window. Now this is just an urban legend, right? Well, some people on the internet have claimed similar things have happened to them. Now this could just be all people adding to the urban legend, but some people speculate that this is some sort of technologically savvy demon that will try to get close to you through social media. And the more you believe in it and the more you're afraid of it, the stronger it gets until it's close enough to take your life. Now I can't even check my messages without being afraid. Coming in at number nine, we have Momo, the new age chain mail that had people freaked out for a multitude of reasons. This scared the hell out of everyone in the world for a little bit. The Momo trend made international news as people were afraid that their children's lives were at risk. If you don't remember, Momo was usually a terrifying image of the famous Japanese sculpture that would be sent to younger people through the messaging service, WhatsApp. The messages would instruct people to harm themselves until eventually this led to them taking their own lives. This was traced back to a internet prank and there haven't been any deaths connected to this chain letter, but the internet loves to speculate and I am here to give you these speculations. I've read that similar to our last point, Momo is actually a dark entity and it will use the messaging service to try and get close to you so it can learn about you and use your personal information against you. Coming in at number eight, we have Agares. I have talked about this demon before and honestly, I put him on any list that involves demons because I think this dude is one of the funniest creations I have ever heard of. Agares is a demon from Christian and Hebrew mythology. Basically, this demon can take any form it wants. If it wants to be a woman, it will normally show up as a super hot chick who you can't take your eyes off of. And if Agares shows up as a dude, you will be an old man riding a crocodile. So either way, when this creature is around, you are not going to miss him. He will then try to become your friend and offer to teach you how to speak in every language in the world. That is a good chunk of knowledge that you should not pass up, but he will only tell you how to say the most foul things in every language, and this usually leads to people being outcasted from their society for being horrible, hateful people. But I just think it's so funny that an old man rides up to a stranger while he's on a crocodile, then teaches you a bunch of racial slurs, and then just moves on. That's hilarious. Coming in at number seven, we have Hellboy, the hulking red demon from another world who deep down just wants to be loved. Well, deep down, he might want to bring the end of all civilization, but that's a question for the comic book writers to work out. Now, Hellboy might not be the nicest comic book demon all the time, but there have definitely been some moments where he has been sweet and cuddly and just wants to have the people around him like him. Like when he saves a cat from being eaten by a troll. The dude loves little kitties and he is constantly looking for love in all the wrong places. And he does have one really good friend who's like a fish monster thing. I'm sure if this guy was allowed to walk out in the open, he would be making friends left, right, and center. Coming in at number six, we have Dracula. Okay, is Dracula a demon? I think we could debate this topic all day and really it would just be semantics so let's break down what qualifies to be a demon they're evil they're usually immortal and they will drain some sort of life force from you and they usually have something supernatural going on now dracula checks all of these boxes so i think he fits perfectly on this list now when has he ever tried to make someone become his friend well if you go back through a lot of the old stories of dracula he's doing this all the time he's inviting people back to his big old mansion to have dinner and hang out when he really just wants to suck your blood. When he invites you over for dinner, he's really just pranking you. You're the dinner, lol. 
he also tries to befriend women a lot. How many Brides of Dracula movies have we seen in the past? He's always looking for a lady who can become the one he will love forever and he can have undead children with. So if you're a lady, look out for pale dudes with sharp teeth who have big houses. I know it sounds appealing, but they might be trying to kill you. Coming in at number five, we have Pennywise. I mean, all we have to do is look at the opening of the movie It to see how Pennywise has a very simple game plan. Make you think that he's your friend so he can bite your arm off and drag you into the sewers. That's basically what he does to Georgie at the beginning of the movie. Talks to Georgie, makes him feel kind of comfortable, and then blam, he's snacking on his arm like that one girl who made that snacking TikTok that everyone hated but people kept sharing because people hated it. There's also the part where he makes himself look like an old lady, so the adult version of that redhead girl that I can't remember the name of, comes to the house and then he can scare the crap out of her. He's also a shapeshifter and that is basically their MO. Shapeshifters will always want to make you feel comfortable before they reveal their true form. It is a classic trick. Coming in at number four, we have a succubus. Of course, this one is a classic. I gotta say, this is a little bit of a gray area when it comes to friendship. So a succubus is a demon that will often take a human form so it can get close to you and then will have sex with you so it can suck your life force out through a sexual act. Now, a succubus is going to try to get close to you obviously they are going to try to gain a certain amount of trust. Usually trust a person to a certain extent if you let them see you naked. Do you have to be naked to have sex? No, but that's a whole other thing. We're not gonna talk about that. Now here's the thing. Do you have to befriend someone to have sex with them? Well, that's a personal preference. If you are that kind of person, then a succubus will for sure try to be your pal to get into your pants to steal your life force. Do you think a succubus would use hinge? I should put no demons in my dating profile. Coming in at number three, we have Ganon. Of course, this guy's on the list. This guy is the creepiest demon pretending to be your friend of all time. I mean, just look at what happens in the Orcarina of Time. The dude comes to Hyrule Castle acting all suave and stuff with his red hair and his cool armor. Then him and the king become good friends. He then uses this new friendship with the king to trick Link and then becomes the evil ruler of Hyrule as Link is stuck in stasis. And this is all before we even know that he's not even a dude, that he's been a demon pig thing that can use magic and wants to ruin everyone's day this whole time. He just wants to steal the Triforce. I would have put this guy at number one, but I don't think everyone has played Zelda, so I thought three was a good spot for him. Coming in at number two, we have Raikou, probably one of the most powerful creatures in anime, and that is really saying something. Raikou will for sure try and become your friend. He is one of the main characters from the Death Note series, and if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely go watch it because it's some of the best anime around. But the show starts off with him getting bored of his regular life. The life of a powerful demon can get boring sometimes, I suppose, so he decides that he will meddle with the lives of humans and he befriends a human. He does this by leaving a book behind for his human friend to find. From there, this little human friend finds out that any name he writes in the book will lead to the death of that person. This is a very powerful tool. Now, why does Raikou do this? Well, by befriending this person and giving him this all-powerful tool of destruction, he can give himself a little entertainment. Coming in at number one, we have Lucifer. I I mean, of course, this guy has to be number one on the list. This is like his main thing that he does all the time. He will pretend to be someone he's not. He'll usually offer you some sort of help with something you got going on. It's always a monkey's paw type situation. He will grant you a wish, but it will have some horrible consequence. This guy is the king of being a fake friend, and I think he loves it. I mean, some say it was Lucifer who was the snake that tempted Eve. Can you be a bigger fake friend than that? He was all like, eat the apple, it'll be fun. It's totally good. You're gonna look so skinny after you eat it. And I promise you, God won't care at all. Just do it. All the cool kids are doing it. And the next thing you know, you're kicked out of the Garden of Eden and you have to feel pain and suffering for the first time ever. I mean, maybe this is just an analogy for being born, like the womb is paradise and you come out into the world. But that's a discussion for another list. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as promised, I'm gonna be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day. So so if you don't get picked one day, you can message back another day. You can message me as many times as you want. I really don't care. But if it takes me a long time to get back to you, I'm very sorry because I 
have so many of these to do. And without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. First up, we have Baby, who is playing in a nice little box. Then we have this scruff boy who I didn't get the name for, so we're gonna call him Shaggy Dunlop. That's a good name for him. After that, we have Max, who looks like he's about to have a solid snooze. Then we have Chloe, who is in a very tasteful picture. That is some great photography. I don't know who took this picture, but that is an amazing picture. And to close it out, we have this doggo angel who has a nice little coat. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I have been your host, Jade Arena, and I guess watch out for demons who are trying to be your friends. Unless you got no friends, then that's good. Just don't be friends with demons. Bye.